Well, we're off on our first trek of the holiday. We're doing a low level walk today, but it's got beautiful views into the mountains of Ben A, which you might remember from last year that my sister and I walked up. Today, we're going to go walk around Loch Clare as a family and particularly as a special focus to today's mission. We're trying to find the spot where the photograph was taken that hangs on my parents' wall in their lounge. So let's see if we can find it. on the trail which as you can tell is a pretty good trail at the moment it's a tarmac road it's made for the estate vehicles one of the great things about walking up here in the highlands on the low level walks is often you've got these great surfaces because they're built for coming into the estates for deer stalking and just for maintenance of the estates around us we've got some beautiful mountains so just over here it's not one well, that's not quite a Munro, just over 700 metres. Um, you need to be 925 or 3,000 feet for a Munro. Um, Skirdu mountain there, but in the background behind us, the glorious vista of Ben A, which looks really challenging to climb. It's actually not quite as bad as it looks. That scree you avoid on the actual climbs, but it is an inspiring mountain, 3,000 footer. Uh, and it's also one that you can do as part of a triathlon race, would you believe? There's a race called the Kaltman, which comes starts in this area. You do the swim in the sea near here. You do the cycle ride round the roads here, which are somewhat undulating. And then you finish, if you finish, get to the right place in time by doing a marathon which runs up over the two Munros which make up the Ben A Ridge. So if you fancy a real challenge, that's the one for you. The loch we're walking by the side of at the moment is Loch Clare. In the distance over there, you can see Liathach, another great mountain to climb, quite challenging, but a beautiful um, vistas from there over the Torridon Mountains and so on. So just endless mountains to climb up here. It's fantastic. <music> Well, we've left the tarmac trail behind and we've left the loch behind now, but walking up alongside the river and um, up into the valley. One of the things I love up here is the Scots pines, just amazing trees. Love to know the stories they have to tell and just something majestic about them. We've left the 4x4 trail and we're now on a proper hiking trail. Bit more rocky, bit more up and downy. Beautiful view still and the sun is shining on us. A slightly odd gate there. <laughs> gate you could walk through, open really well. No fence either side of it, so there's absolutely no point in the gate being there at all. We've now made it through to Loch Coolin. The sun is glistening on the loch. Over in the far distance, you can see some cows having a paddle. Obviously, they're morning paddle. And what you can also see here, a couple of houses. And you can actually book these. If you really want to get away from it all, you can come along down here and stay. Miles from civilization. Enjoy the peace and the quiet. The sky is at night. It must be beautifully dark. Very tempted, I must admit. Lovely flat loch, nice flat stones, perfect for some stone skimming style. I don't know if you've read the book, there's actually a book about skimming stones. And it's all about just enjoying little things in the great outdoors. And skimming stones is just one of those great things to enjoy when outdoors. We're at the head of Loch Coolin now, looking back towards the Ben A, Liatha, 
and Skirdu. Amazing view down the valley, absolutely fabulous. Just imagining a weekend away, romantic break away with Ruth, staying somewhere like this, especially if it's darker nights, get a peat fire burning in the hearth, look up at the starry sky. Whatever the weather, it'd be fantastic just to enjoy this wilderness around you. The river that we've just crossed is a breeding ground for sea trout. Uh, and the woodlands planted just along here have been planted to make sure it's got the right mix of sort of trees and, and pollen and all the rest of it to encourage insects which will then help the trout to breed so just really creating a good um, environment for them all so important this woodland management happens Just enjoying our lunch break where we've got our sandwiches from Crumbs in Gerloch before heading out. And now we're just enjoying them here with this magnificent vista as our view while we enjoy them. How are those legs doing? Good. Nice straightforward walking? Taking it easy? Yeah. Enjoying the views? What's been the best bit of the walk so far? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> just enjoyed all the mountains around you? Yeah. What about your lunch? How's your lunch? Good. I've got sausage roll. Okay, and how do you rate crumbs then as a sandwich place? Five. Five out of five. Though you're telling me I should have brought something so you could have heated your sausage roll up. We've enjoyed our lunch, tasty lunch. Now heading back down the other side of the loch. You can see it's a beautiful deep blue at the moment. And heading back uh, alongside this loch and then down to Loch Clare as well. Still fantastic views of Benet as we march towards it. We've taken a little detour to see if we'd come to the spot where the photo was taken we don't think we are quite at the right spot. It's generally the right sort of view, isn't it, Ewan? Yeah. But not quite perfect. What we have seen, however, I think were some diver birds scooting across the top of the loch as we came down here. And it is a beautiful view, so I will take a photo to see how close we got to the photo that hangs on their wall. Just a bit further on down the path, and without a trail to get to the end of a long promontory, there are no red-throated divers at this one, we think we have found the rock with the view of Bay and A in the background that adorns the lounge wall at uh, my parents' house. So here is the rock, we think. Mission accomplished. completed the loop and are now just doing the tarmac uh, road back out to the main road where we're parked. Three generations of O'Donnells completed the walk from my dad at the oldest at 80 to our owner at the youngest at nine. We've all been out there and it'll be just over seven miles I think by the time we get back to the car. Beautiful walk. I will pop the route in the description and in the pinned comments. If you're up in this area a lovely walk, a lovely taster of the Torridons. Hope you enjoyed today's little adventure. If you have, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons 
and we'll see you on another Scottish adventure soon. Bye for now.